What's up YouTube, Vampire Con here. Today I'm going to show you how to make an animation for a custom model. So, you, if you like have watched like other videos on like how to make animation, like they often like way back and like they don't work because like it's been changed. So, so like most of it is still the same, only like a little bit have changed. So what I've done, like, so without wasting time in the video, I've already, like, named the part and I've built my own custom model, as you can see, that, like, the dummy, if you, this is a R15. See, this isn't, even though, like, it does look like it isn't an R15 because, like, it doesn't have a right hand, unlike this. See, which is this, so it's basically a custom model. Not all R15 and all that, because of no hands and like feet. Right, so I'm going to get straight on to the video. You're going to need one plugin because like Roblox will already give you an animation editor and I think a rig builder. Those are what you get. It's what you have when you download Roblox Studios. See, I will have like this. This is what you need. I'll have the link to the custom. Cr character creator um, plugin it, it will be in the links All right so we will click on it and it says please select a model there's one thing I didn't do you have to, all of this has it have to be a model it, it must be so you want to group like basically what you've made and then you then it says you may continue going to edit and you want to bind Binding is like basically what gives your character bones, which is like what is used to like mainly for animation. We go to so this is how we bind your like your custom character. Like if yours is different, then you will obviously bind it differently. So let's do the torso first. It's most is the most important. But to click on the torso. And you, you could do this in the order, you could do lower torso, left slash right arm, and all of that, and head. You got, uh, we're just going to do it like from, I think, clockwise or anti-clockwise, clockwise, I don't, I don't care. So we want to like, click on the torso, then lower torso, or like a, um, you could do it however you want, I'm just doing it like this, where you, like a, I'm binding the, like, this is the most important part, you have to bind it like this, like, so you can't just, like, you can't bind, like, a torso with a lower arm, it will be weird. Now that, like, all the things are binded to the torso, you go bind, I'm doing, like, legs, I guess, first, then, like, the arms and head, although head doesn't really need much binding. So I'm going to click lower to so then this leg. Also, you have to like I guess name it specifically. I don't know. Like you have, it's best to name the parts. So you go bind it like this. I know that. I mean, obviously, like different for the head. If I had a neck, but I don't. So. Then I'm going to edit the uh, like joints. So this is like what the bones look like in Roblox for animation. Not like you model a bone and it's going to be used inside your character. No, it's not like that. It's different. So when you click, uh, like it's going to look like rotation. Let me just. It's going to look like this. I think at first, at the bottom left, right here, you want to press K and then change it to like the move for like the movement mode and also like press L once so it will get onto 1 slash 5 that's how like it will move like if I press L again like 1 out of 10 it will move differently like free movement then it will be like and then if I move full like you'll see it will be like that so I'm gonna put on 1 I guess you know what? let's do a free movement it's gonna be easy you can do it however you want. I, I'm just choosing free. I'm gonna put this like it, you have to be specific on where you put these. So like, yeah, you shouldn't really move them back unless if like 
you have to. Okay, you gotta want to move these, I guess like near the joints, or most of them at least. So, all right, so you just like I guess. See, uh, when I rotate it, it's gonna be it's hard to explain. So that's why I was like move them into position like it's basically like if it's at the center like that's where the rotation will be like it's it's tough like um so basically like the two sides of the piece will as well be like rotating in a circle instead of one going up like a lever so that's how I will just describe it you ha like remember you have to be specific on where you place these because like, you know, like with the, it's mainly for like rotation and all of that. Also, like I haven't been able to post videos, like, last one that I made was three days ago, because I'm actually like, I was a bit sick for those few days. It was like, it was really annoying. And I seem to be getting better. I'm not like exactly fully recovered, but yeah, I'm very close. All right, so once we move these like into position, like it's like how you want it depends on your model. It depend. It all actually depends on your. <coughs> it all depends on your model. All right. So once you're done with this, you click back, and then finish. You're not done yet because like. You still have a few more things to add. Alright, so now time to add a few things. You want to go to your model, or you could just like click part, you know, search part. <coughs> you want to go here. And then you go, you have to this time, <coughs> you can name these however you want, besides these few parts. You have to name this part humanoid root part. Also notice there are no spaces like in between these. So human humanoid. Almost forgot the noid part. Then it has to be a capital R and a capital H. Root then part. So humanoid root part. And you and where you want to move this is like by the torso like I guess it could be somewhere else but I suggest by the torso alright you guys could position it how you want for this tutorial I'm going to put it like by the torso because I think that's I believe that's where the best part is like for the humanoid root part you want to add a humanoid Right here. All right, and then, and then if we like, if you look at the names, you'll notice um, if I could find it, fake head. See the reason why I call this a f like fake head. All right, let's um duplicate this, and rename it to head. Because like with humanoid, with a humanoid root part, naming this. Head will have this like model thing, and you don't want that on this, like, unless if you do, but most of the times you don't. But you do need the head. So, what you want to do with this is make make it transparent. So, you go here to like properties and make it transparent. Also, get rid of the name. So, like, if I were to make like the dummy head like transparent, you wouldn't see the word dummy there. So once you've done like adding the humanoid, the humanoid root part and the head you're going to need to go back to your custom character and you have to edit this time you're going to bind this with the torso and you're going to need to bind the torso with the real head not the fake one this time and then you go finish now, you may think that you could you are done and click animation editor and it does this and you can't animate anything. See, it was changed, I don't know when, but what you have to do, you have to go to primary, primary part. 
click on it and you'll see your mouse cursor will have like something to the top right with a like a blue lego brick like a whitish bluish lego brick red arrow going up and a black arrow going to the right you want to go to the humanoid root part and click it and then it'll be kind of highlighted or outlined then you go to animation editor and then it will say no animation animations exist for this rig please create one you click create and it will say this is not a valid R15 that's okay we click okay and we should have all of this oh yeah, it, also for animation the um, humanoid root part should be the only one anchored I don't know if it's been changed I know one for you things for sure this must be the primary root part and this also sh should be um, transparent as well so now you could animate and if you done it correctly like it could be messed up like I don't know like once you're done you this is this is like that uh, you add key to scrubber do all this like I don't know what I did wrong with you know it's okay it's like a basic tutorial don't have to get everything right and yeah like I, I right click and it will like give me those options so yeah that's like basically how you do your animations I hope you enjoyed this video if you did please like and subscribe and see you guys next time bye